Greg's Garage Challenge Day 30. Okay, so as you saw yesterday, I had the wrong bearing race for the headstock. Got lucky, the bearing guys could get the right one in same day, so I picked that up today. So let's get this guy installed. Okay, so we're at the stage where we can knock this bearing onto the spindle. I've just got it sitting on the shoulder. And I really need to find something that I can use to sit over the top of this bearing and sit on the race itself and sit up a bit higher here so I can hammer down on it. So I need a piece of tubing that fits over here and it's the same diameter as the race. Now I've got to be careful, I don't want anything too big because then what will happen is I'll be hammering on the cage and I could damage the cage which is bad for the life of the bearing. So I haven't found anything yet so that'll be the next job will be to find something I can use to press this bearing on. So I need something that's a sleeve that fits over the shaft to press on the on the race. So um, we'll get back to you when I've found something. All right, that's about it for tonight. So we've got the, I call this the counter shaft. I don't know what it's technically called. So the motor sits on the back on this plate here and there's a primary reduction to the counter shaft. And then there's a cone pulley with four grooves, which will then drive another pulley on the headstock spindle. So you can see I've, there's a green paint in here. This was sitting uh, on its, base or face down or, or base down here on the uh, cardboard so I've missed painting that so that's quite easy to get out it's just a grub screw on the pulley and that comes off and the whole thing just slides out so I'll have to come back and do that a little later on and that'll be about it for tonight so not a heap of progress but we're chipping away and the pile of parts on the bench is getting smaller and smaller which is good so thanks for watching.